Joining us here on Pittsburgh Sports Now is the head coach of the Central Valley Warriors, Mark Lyons, and a big day for your program today, Coach. Anytime you get a guy to Absolutely. commit to a Power 5 program, that's good for him, but it's also good for Central Valley football. Um, tell me about Steph. What type of, uh, you know, we've heard about him. You know him better than anybody. What type of player did Pat Narduzzi just pick up today? Yeah, you know, Steph's a, f a phenomenal athlete, and um, he falls right in line with the, the other safeties that came through our program. They were a corner, and we've moved up one of our better athletes when you go back to Foster, to Whitehead, to Maurice Sims, and Steph falls right back into that. He's long, he's athletic. Um, I think the thing that really sets him apart playing safety at the high school level at this stage is his understanding of angles and, and, and tracking the ball from a run from a run game, and you know everybody thinks maybe I need a need a ball hawk from a free safety, and it's all about the ints. But at that level, you got to understand how you fit in a run game, and Steph does that. Is he sort of a? Uh, well, I'm not sure if diamond in the rough. Is he? he he's still. The be, his best football is yet to come. He hasn't, he hasn't played a lot of football. Absolutely. You, that, that's very accurate. And you know what was impressive about him? As the year went along, as his junior year went along last year, and the games got bigger, he got bigger. And I think that's when his recruiting took off. And, um, you know, he's a quiet kid, so he's not going to do a lot of flashy things on the social media to bring attention to him. He let his play take care of it. And, um, you know, it's the old adage. Film, film doesn't lie, and his doesn't lie at all about his play. How did you take uh, – what, what role did you have in his recruiting? Did you uh, – you see what's going out there. Right. This isn't a normal year for recruiting. Did you encourage him to keep an eye on what's going on around him as far as visits, scholarships right. being used up? Did you, you know, did you sort of coach him on that? Well, that's a great point because, yeah, we had to change. Um, you know, it, it – in all the years I've been doing this, I've never told a kid or encouraged a kid to pick one particular school. But about mid-April, I had a Zoom meeting with some of our seniors-to-be with any parent who wanted to go on, and I just explained to them that, you're right, this is a different type of recruiting. You may not get be able to get on campus. You may not be able to take the old visits like you normally do. Most of you guys would have had your summer completely planned out. Well, that's, that's ended. With that being said, you're going to have to now kind of do your homework. You may have to be a little more proactive, reach out to coaches and see where you are in the recruiting process and also keep an eye on the other, other guys getting recruited in your position because there's going to be a lot of movement within the recruiting and um, it's important you keep an eye on that. I'm not telling you to rush, rush the process, but I am encouraging them to at least look at it and maybe try to expedite it maybe a little quicker than normal. Anytime a kid goes to a Power 5 school, regardless of where it is, it's a big deal for the school. But is it a little extra the fact that it's a, a local school? Absolutely. I mean, when, when you're able to go and, and, and play Power 5 football in your backyard, and, you know, Steph grew up, he knows all about Jordan Whitehead, what was in front of him, and he understands Jordan now is playing in the league, and kids, kids see that. And, uh, that, you know, they want to be the next one, you know, and um, – so that's important for us. If we can keep guys in, in, in our backyard and, and as long as they're comfortable with staying close to home, it's always a positive, not only for the University of Pittsburgh, but for our program also. And last thing is, now that this is out of the way, I know you can't wait to get on the field. You're going to have another, uh, you don't want to hear this, but you're going to, have, you're going to be the front runner. You're, you're, you're going to be the team. <laughs> but uh, what are you going to work on this year now that the decision's out of the way? Is there, is there still something in his game that you want to, why you still have him for another year, work well, with him? You know, that's a great point. I, I, I'd like to see us as a coaching staff maybe take advantage of more into some man coverage just to give him that opportunity. I think he needs that flexibility in his game. You know, sometimes as high school coaches, we worry about our program so much that we want to collect the wins and we're all competitive, but we also got to make sure our athletes, if they have an opportunity to play college football, we also prepare them. And I think that's one area of Steph's game I'd like to see us as a coaching staff for him do a better job of getting him ready. I think his run game uh, support is where it needs to be. I'd like to see his pass defense from a man standpoint get a little better. Our right, last uh, promise is last one. Uh, Team-wise for you, now that Beaver County is going to go in green next, next Friday, uh, 
what, what sort of plan do you have? Do you, have you started to map things out as far well, as team goes? I, that's a good point. You know, we're still on hold. Um, I was actually on a Zoom meeting with our state coaches association that I'm involved with, and um, we need to be ahead of this because when they finally get the okay through the, the governor's office and through the PIAA, and they get a, they get together and release team activities, we can't wait and react off of that. We have to have our plan from a district standpoint. So, you know, I reached out to our superintendent to maybe sit down and start putting together a plan. So when it's time to go, we're going to be getting, we're off and running. You know, we want to hit the ground running when it's time. All right, coach, we appreciate the time and uh, good luck. We'll be, uh, we'll be over Central Valley following you this year. Thanks. Appreciate it.